Hey there, coders. Today, we're exploring something groundbreaking. How to build your own AI-powered image generator using Python and the Stable Diffusion model. AI image generation is changing the game for art, design, and content creation. Whether it's creating stunning visuals from text prompts or enhancing creative workflows, tools like Stable Diffusion are leading the charge. But here's the exciting part. You can create your very own image generator with just a bit of Python knowledge. Today, I'll guide you through it step by step. Let's dive in. To get started, you'll need a few things. Access to Google Collab for a GPU-enabled environment. Basic Python libraries like Torch, Diffusers, and Transformers. We'll install everything together in just a moment. First, open Google Collab and create a new notebook. In the first cell, we'll install the required libraries. Copy and paste this command. Run the cell, and it will install everything we need. Next, let's import the libraries. From Diffusers Import Stable Diffusion Pipeline imports the class we use to interact with the model. Import Torch brings in PyTorch, which handles the deep learning computations. Now, let's load the Stable Diffusion model. This will download and set up the model on the GPU. Let's break it down. Model ID specifies the Stable Diffusion model we want to use. This line creates a pipeline object using the Stable Diffusion Pipeline class from the Diffusers library. This pipeline acts as an interface between our code and the Stable Diffusion model. It loads a pre-trained Stable Diffusion model based on the provided model ID. Torch type is an optional argument that specifies the data type used for calculations within the pipeline. Here, we're using torch.float16, which is a lower precision format compared to the default torch.float32. This can improve memory efficiency and speed up computations, especially on GPUs with limited memory. The last line ensures the model uses the GPU for faster processing. The dot to CUDA method moves all computations to the GPU. It tells the pipeline to move its operations to the GPU for faster processing. Stable diffusion models involve a lot of computations, and GPUs are much better suited for handling those compared to CPUs. In summary, these lines set up the core functionality for generating images. They define the specific stable diffusion model we'll use, create a pipeline object to interact with it, and optionally leverage the GPU for faster processing. Now, we'll write a function to generate an image from a text prompt and save it to our Google Collab environment. Here's what's happening. The generate image function takes two parameters. Prompt, a string describing the image you want to generate. Output path, the file name for saving the image, default is generatedimage.png. Inside the function, we generate the image from the given prompt. Here, we call the pipeline object, which holds the stable diffusion model, and pass the prompt as an argument. This tells the model to generate an image based on the description in the prompt. The result, images, is a list, but we only care about the first image, index 0, so we access it with 0. Image.save saves the generated image to the specified file. It takes the generated image, image, and saves it to the location specified by the output path argument. Let's test it out. Add another cell and call the function like this. Run the cell and Stable Diffusion will generate the image. Once it's done, the image will be saved in your collab environment. Look at that. In just a few lines of code, we've generated a breathtaking AI image. We can see a sunset village seen in the image as we have described in the prompt. Let's generate another image of a futuristic cityscape. Once it gets generated, we will see generated image two in the files. As we can see, it generated a really good image of a cityscape. You can experiment with different prompts to create a variety of visuals. Generate images by writing a unique prompt and show your creativity in the comments below. Let's see who can create the most stunning image. Now, let's take a moment to talk about the potential of this technology. Stable Diffusion isn't just about making cool images. It has real-world applications. Think about using it for game design, where you can create concept art on the fly. Marketing, generating unique visuals for campaigns. Even personal projects, like creating art for a story you're writing. The possibilities are endless. Before we wrap up, here's something to keep in mind. AI tools like this are incredibly powerful, but they also come with ethical responsibilities. Always respect copyright laws and ensure your usage aligns with the model's guidelines. And that's it. 
You've built your very own AI-powered image generator using Stable Diffusion. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our future videos. Got any questions or ideas for what we should cover next? Drop them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, happy coding and stay creative.